Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about 10x engineers. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, hi Frederick, do you think that 10x engineers exist? And if so, what are some examples of a 10x engineer? Hmm. I do think that 10x engineers exist. I think that um, there are a hundred x engineers. It depends on how you define it, right? So for me, a 10x engineer, like there is no one who's just you know 10x times faster at writing software. But the thing is, it's uh, it's a say it's something that an old co-worker to my, to, of mine said a, while, a long time back which was that the problem is, is we were talking about like snippets and like code abbreviations and stuff like that and like writing faster software and he said the problem is never that you can't write the code fast enough the problem is to write it correctly on the first try that's usually it the limiting factor is not your typing speed the limiting factor is your noggin your brain that's the thing that limits you. And so if we're talking about a 10x developer is just 10 times faster at typing or like just doing this stuff, no, I don't think such a person exists. But I do believe, and I know for a fact, that there are people who are so smart uh, or so good at doing things that the work that they do can either not be done by you know if you had 10 other normal developers they wouldn't be able to do it or you have people who are able to write create solutions that are so good that it actually replaces the time it would take for 10 other developers to do it or something similar like that right uh, examples of that, like taking a very concrete example, let's talk about React, Angular, or Vue, or something like that, like these sorts of frameworks, right, and front-end frameworks. If you wanted to create an SBA today from vanilla JavaScript, that would be borderline impossible for you to find anybody who's going to teach you how to do that. I'm an old, old guy, so I did that, or rather, like I. I was there when like Angular first became a thing before 1.0 and so I know how it look, used to look and I know the problem that these frameworks solved and if you think about it there's like probably more people today using these sorts of SBA's frameworks than not and the reason is very simple because if you were to do that by yourself like write your own solutions it would probably not go so well and so you could argue that a framework like that actually did improve, like it was made by people who are 10x developers because their contribution has empowered everybody. But that is true of a lot of developers, like um, you mean in like web frameworks or things like that. Uh, there, there's tons and tons of these examples where a soft one or two or like just a few software developers have gone together, created a solution to a problem that was so, and they were so effective at doing it that they changed the workflow for everybody else. And that to me is a 10x developer because without them, the people you would have had to have quote unquote 10 times the people to do the same sort of thing or like you would slow down everybody else, right? And so that is like a more generic example of a 10x developer. But I've also worked with guys who are, um, and girls as well, uh, in software development where it's the same sort of deal where they, I mean, in a company, they are the people who uh, they show up to the community meetings, they help set like a basic standard or like show people a way of working that is more effective or they get to be the experts of everything. So basically they're booked in meetings all day long sim by everybody because not only do they have the tech skills to do all the job, all the work, they know all the things about the domain. So the product owners and like the, all the stakeholders, they want to talk to them all the time and like their opinion is highly valued, etc. Cetera, et cetera. And if you think about, I mean, I, there are some people who always go, oh, you know, meetings is not real work or meetings is like a waste of time. And I kind of go, sure, you can see it. some meetings are definitely a waste of time, but you have to understand, guys, that most of what corporations are about and most of like what all of the industry is about is to 
make sure that people feel like they know what's going on. Alignment, as we call it, aligning people. That's half the job when you're working in a company. The reason why it's easier to do that stuff at smaller scale is because you have less people to align. You're more independent, but the larger the system, the larger the company and so forth, the more alignment it takes to to do everything because you simply it's the same thing with the government it's the same thing with everything human society and um, the speed it moves at is is uh, stands in proportion to how quickly and cleanly you can communicate with the people who make up that system same thing with countries and the uh, that's the that's fundamentally the reason why i say to people that uh, having it in 10x engineer who can get decisions quickly or like to unblock people because sometimes guys have been in situations where uh, you can't actually do the job because the, all the people who need to be involved to do this thing they're not there and they're not interested in helping you unblock you from your team or like so forth and so forth and then there's like one person like a manager or like a t engineering lead or something like that who seems to have some magical way with people who just goes in and says hey this is what we're doing <laughs> okay and now everybody just fell in line and you can f continue working again that to me is a 10x developer because I mean it's uh, you can look at it however you want it's like a hundred X developers because you could have a hundred developers and you would still not be able to do shit about it without that one person and uh, I remember I was at one company where they wanted to create a payment provider PSD compliancy uh, PSDI yeah whatever it is for getting card transactions and stuff like that and so I basically told the PO that we can't do this and of course they got, gave me pushback because that was of course negative and I said I'm not trying to be negative I'm trying to explain to you that we do not possess any software developer in this company who knows how to do this because there's a lot of legal requirements related to card transactions it's actually so complicated that there are entire companies who dedicate themselves to just being payment providers or payment solution providers such as I say Klarna or banks and stuff like that and that's for a very good reason because it's very strictly regulated so here you could take the entire company and we would still not be able to do it like literally even if we had a hundred more developers today we would not be able to do it because none of us have the knowledge that is necessary to build this thing in a legal way and then the government is going to come if we try it without such a person and they're going to shut us down so having a single developer with that experience is equal to 100 developers or like they're going to be able to make it possible for us to do that that's what this you know some you talk about key competencies and key talents and stuff like that and that's why I tell people I recommend people that once you get past being a junior and you get to be a more experienced software developer you will realize that your value as a software developer is not just down to the language you know and like the stack that you're using there's actually more in some cases to be gained from what type of work have you been doing and I can't really imagine uh, something that is potentially as lucrative as having domain knowledge from areas like security or finance or things like that where these uh, where more complicated sort of work is being done and especially I mean it's the same thing with if you only work in s at small scale uh, with like agencies or freelancing and stuff like that you will never reach a level of experience and uh, proficiency as if you were working in the lar larger corporations because you're facing challenges that are more complicated at that scale and usually as I like to say there is a difference between doing something at small scales and large scale and a 10x developer is the sort of person who is able to at large scale in my opinion at the very least enable other people to work more effectively or unblocking them or something like that because at the end of the day it does it's not possible for sure for, to, for a single person to write 10 times as fast as somebody else but the time is the thing that matters and so if you can make 10 other developers work faster you're technically the 10x developer so what I want you to take away from this is that I believe that the 10x developer exists depending on how you define it. Um, my personal experiences are that they are usually the sort of people who are either very good at moving people or they're very good at 
coming up with very clever like good solutions that unblock people or make it easier to do something they optimize or automate or things like that uh, or they're simply so knowledgeable about all the things that they have key insights into how to structure systems and so forth. These are the sort of what I call the 10x developers because they're talented to the point where you can't really you can't solve this problem with just quote unquote money because that's what a lot of companies try of course I mean if you don't have anything else you just hire more developers and hope that it solves it but unfortunately it's similar to if you're gonna run, uh, win the Olympics you don't need more runners or more athletes you need better athletes and that is what a 10x developer is it's a person who has and uh, who is good to the point where they can actually make a time difference they might not as an individual by themselves be faster than everybody else but that's not really so important now is it what's important is the end result can they bring 10 times the end result have a great day